Hi, today I am sharing with you this airway manual by Jepson. Uh, if you want to become a commercial pilot, uh, you, you have to pass uh, 13 written exams, ATPL exams, if you want to become a commercial pilot. Um, uh, those exams will help you to get your instrument rating and commercial pilot license, uh, as well as multi-engine rating as well. Uh, mostly uh, students they, they do all 13 exams at once uh, so they don't have to do separate exams for instrument rating or separate exams for multi-engine or CPL so if you want to become a commercial pilot you will have to pass 13 um, ATPL exams uh, from those 13 ATPL exams um, you will you will need uh, for for a couple of exams, you will need this uh, um, airway manual. What airway manual is? Airway manual is um, a book where they have combined all the information that you need for your navigation uh, and flight planning. So um, some examining bodies they will let you take this book into the exams, and some will not allow you. Um, so the exams that for the exam that you need this uh, book for uh, you need for general navigation and uh, flight planning uh, for general navigation uh, it, you know it, it, these are this uh, book has um, all the charts that you need I will show you all all the section one by one uh, and for flight planning as well you will need this book so first thing first here you will see um, is some information. The first section is introduction. Introduction means it will tell you all the definitions uh, that you need to remember. In aviation, we have lots of uh, uh, abbreviation, abbreviations that we need to remember. Um, so what ADSP means and uh, you know all, all, all that information. The first section one is all the uh, introduction this is section one all the symbols what symbols stand for because when you read the chart you will see uh, all these little symbols so you need to know what those symbols mean by heart uh, and and uh, also it can it can come as a multiple choice questions as well so you need to know all these symbols uh, it can come as a multiple choice question in your exam second section is called in route so basically in route is a low level navigation where you stay uh, below a certain level you don't go too high uh, you stay you know probably 10,000 feet or 20,000 feet uh, so how to do that navigation uh, for local flights uh, within like within the continent or within the um, within the country you know how how you do that navigation so here you have all the charts so chart one two three four five six so so here in section one you have 15 charts and then end of section one you have vfr chart as well so these are instrument charts this is visual uh, flight rule charts chart so there is only one uh, visual uh, vfr chart this is North Atlantic plotting chart. Yeah, you probably know. I I, 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 I never used it. Uh, I don't know. I didn't have any section. Well, I, I've learned about it, how to calculate the North Atlantic, how to do North, North Atlantic plotting, but I never got in my exam. Um, high level navigation. So high in routes. These are upper level navigation, you know, how to do. Uh, what things you need to consider how the upper level navigation works so all all you know all it's here so you at least get one or two questions from here where you need to draw a chart or you know have some multiple choice question the so third section will come as air traffic control in air traffic control you have uh, this flight flight plan so you need to know everything on this flight plan you need to know how to fill this flight plan what all these codes are about 
because I had like three questions about only asking about this code. What what is this code codes means? So you know you need to know and and so this is the sample page of um, flight plan. You need to know how to fill this uh, flight plan for your flight. And this is all the definitions and all what what all these codes are about. So all the definition of these codes are all here. So you need to remember all these definitions for your exam. Yeah. And the terminal here, you will find all the um, instrument approaches uh, for the terminal. So you have few few airports and few cities uh, here. UK, you have, you have Spain, Netherlands, Amsterdam, um, Alicante. This is very very uh, famous in exam here here in UK. Uh, and US as well um, so this, this so the terminal section is all about um, visual uh, or instrument instrument approaches into the terminal into the local your airport how to do instrument approaches so so you look at these instrument approach chart and you do your follow the instrument approaches and do your instrument approach and after that um, so this section is all terminal section as you can see all the instrument approaches so last section is uh, vfr section vfr section is um, is all about visual approach approaches where you don't use your instrument to approach so all the definition comes here all the definitions all the you know air spaces and their limits uh, all the codes in in visual visual approach charts and here you have at the end you have few charts for example this chart uh, this is Croatia chart so how to approach how to how to approach visually hold holding point and then approach uh, airport from which direction you're coming from so this is you 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 you, you will get at least one to two question about visual approach we have approach as well so you know so this book is very useful you will need this book if you want to become a pro professional pilot so if you want to buy this book in the uh, in the description there is a link if you click that link that will really help um, to do it will help me it will help the channel as well if you click on the d description and buy this book from there uh, thank you very much for watching uh, I really appreciate your time thank you Good luck with your exams.